Hey guys, what is up? It's your best friend Matt here with another video. And today we're going to be driving around LA trying to find the best coffee. Yes, I do know a lot of places are closed right now, but that doesn't mean that we still can't attempt to find the good coffee. I have five different places we're gonna go to. So we're gonna be going to Starbucks, The Coffee Bean, Alfred's Coffee, Joe and the Juice, and Dunkin'. No particular order. I'll probably go to Starbucks first because it's the closest. The only thing, there's a couple rules I'm limiting myself. I can only get an iced vanilla latte. Um, and I know Joe and the Juice does not have almond milk, so I'm just gonna get them regular, even though I usually try not to do dairy, so today's gonna be a really great day for my stomach. It's gonna be fun! It's gonna be real fun! I'm gonna be judging it on the look of the latte, the overall taste, and how sweet it is. Which I guess is like the overall taste, but kind of like if it's too sweet or not sweet, if there's a lot of coffee or not a lot of coffee, and I guess... We'll see. I'm gonna judge it based off of three things. We'll figure out what it's gonna be together. Um, yeah. Comment down below and let me know where you guys get your favorite coffee from so I can try it out. Okay, so I'm going to order from Starbucks first. All right, so order. We're gonna go to menu. We're going to get the cold coffees. Is this what I want? I want a latte. I got sneeze. these. <coughs> Ow. Cafe latte. This is what we want. Two shots. 2% um, milk. And we're going to put vanilla inside. Where are you? Where are you? Add vanilla. Save. Four pumps of vanilla. Regular ice. Size grande. I'll just do a grande. We'll do a grande. That's pretty basic for Starbucks. We're going to do the grande. Okay. And... $4.65. I'm going to judge the prices on this too. I'm screenshotting this thing. Uh-uh. Hick to the no. Check out. 465. Place order. Here we go. It's being placed. You can see it's done. We're gonna head there. We're gonna get this coffee and we're gonna test it out. See how it tastes. So ah. I'm all strapped up and we've arrived at the Starbies. There it is. There she is, the Starbies. Beautiful. Um so I'm gonna go get my Starbies and I'll be back in right now. Right. Grande, iced vanilla latte. This is kind of our base. Everyone likes, not everyone, but most people are okay with Starbucks. Let's give it a little mix. Okay. I haven't actually had an iced latte, like vanilla latte from Starbucks in like a minute. Ah, so good. I'm a little biased though because I used to work at Starbucks. So it's kind of hard for like, me to hate on them. I'm used to like their coffee has a little burnt taste and I like it. Sweetness. 10 out of 10 for this. Um, as our, well actually I'm not even gonna rate this one. This is gonna be our base. So we'll judge all the four others off of this. This is just good. If it tastes worse, it's worse. If it's better, then it's good. So this is a five out of five, right smack dab in the middle. I'm not gonna be like one of those people that's like, oh my gosh, a five out of five is so low. I'm like, no, that's the middle. Like a one is low, a five is like, Okay, a 10 is like, this is blowing my mind. I need to drink this every single day of my life. That is a 10. A 5 is like, yeah, I'll have this. It tastes good. So. Okay. Appearance. Again, 5 out of 10. <laughs> wow. I am not awake yet today. So I'm going to find where we're going to place our next coffee order. So we're going to Alfred's Coffee. We're going to do the ice drinks. Ice latte. 16 ounce. Add to order. Adding item added. Okay, so their ice latte is six dollars and ninety cents. So that's about two and a half dollars more than Starbucks. Y'all, I can't with these prices. This is a coffee, a coffee. Okay, so the order for the Alfred's coffee has been placed, and we're gonna go there and we're gonna get it. Nobody hit me, I'm parked. So, we got the Alfred's coffee, um, 16 ounce standard, two shots, 2% 2 vanilla. This is a little melty. Um, first of all, appearance, 
We'll give this a 10 out of 10 because look at this gradient action you have going on here with the coffee. Got a nice logo. Another nice logo. You got the vanilla. And you can tell this like vanilla beans. So there's little speckles in it. All right, I have insane, insanely high hopes. That's not the lyrics to that song. This is not doing it for me at all. Okay, wait, it's growing on me. It's very milky and like caramel vanilla. Sweetness, it's pretty sweet, not gonna lie. It's like a seven out of 10, but overall taste, I'm gonna give like a six. It definitely tastes higher quality, but I think that's more of like a preference because this is like a caramely vanilla. Hold on, wait. Okay, this just tastes healthier. Starbucks artificial, this is real. You can tell, ooh. Okay, so there definitely has to be more coffee in this because it's a lot darker. Okay, this is definitely better. I'd give this like taste 7 out of 10, looks 10 out of 10, sweetness. I actually, wow, the more I drink this, I'm really liking it. Okay. Okay, Alfred's. Okay. It's good. All right, so that was Alfred's. Pretty good, pretty banging. Banging. Um, I also should mention this is a very bad idea because I already have to pee and I'm not even halfway through these coffees. Ah! I'm gonna go. We're gonna get the next one, which is going to be Joe and the Juice. It's pretty similar to Alfred's, I think, but a little thicker. So I guess we'll be able to compare it. We're gonna place an order. Melrose Avenue is the closest. You know, I also might get a sandwich while I'm here because that sounds really good. What if they don't have an ice latte? Boom. No extras, but I want extras! Can I not get an iced vanilla latte here? What the heck is a yellow latte? I'm stressed out. This is about to be a zero out of 10. If you cannot even get this on the app, mm-mm. Oh wait, oh, hold on, I was just being stupid. So we're gonna get the vanilla milk. Comes to 4.93. So that is processing right now. We're gonna head over to Joe and the Juice. We're gonna try this coffee. Everything kind of is starting to taste the same, even though I've only had two. Um, it's gonna be ready in a minute. I need to go to Melrose Ave. Wow, we are going all around town today. Starting route. Ah, stop. Rude. Y'all, this caffeine, mm-mm, she kicking in. So much caffeine's happening right now. Where's the button? I can't even turn my camera. I continued on my journey and hit every single red light in LA. There, there's Joe's juices right there. So I'm back with the coffee. Again, this one, I'm gonna give like a nine out of 10. Actually, yeah, a nine out of 10. It looks like a lot of milk, but I guess the flavoring's in the milk, so it's good. I like their logo. You get a little logo on the straw. How cool is that? It's gonna be satisfying. Mixing footage. Oh, yes, yes. Okay, now time for the taste test. Okay. It's really hard to mix this to get it like how it should be. Okay. All right, Alfred. Oh wow. I'm gonna give this a 10 for sweetness. It is very, very sweet compared to everything. Actually, maybe a nine. We'll give it a nine. Oh, overall rating. I say if you want something sweet, this is definitely like again a nine out of ten for that too. If you want something more low key, I'd go for Alfred's. Yeah, after drinking this, that's like nothing. Woo! Okay. But, wow, I have so much coffee in here. This is so much money on coffee. I hate myself. I have to pee. That's all I can think about right now is using the bathroom. I gotta pee and nothing's open. So we're gonna go pee and then we're gonna continue this video. Again, so far I think Alfred's was my favorite until I tasted this one. It's like, uh, it's just so like creamy. Okay, I really gotta pee, I gotta go. Okay, I am dying. My body needs a break. That was a lot. So I still have to get two more coffees. I'm gonna take a little break because I gotta run some errands. And then I will finish this for you guys, I am determined. We're gonna go get two more lattes today. I am also heading to work, so I'm kind of in a rush. So we're going to go stop by Dunkin', and then we have to go to the Coffee Bean. Let's go. 
Okay, so if I'm really honest, that took half an hour to get this coffee. <laughs> half an hour! <laughs> I'm so upset because I have to be somewhere and I just I have one more to get it's taking me three days to get all these I'm setting you down. We got to taste. We got to taste this now. It's currently 9 14 I got to be at work at 10. It's like 25 minutes away The closest coffee bean is inside Inside of a mall a mall and it says it's open. I doubt it. I think I think they're lying that's good. That's really good. That's so good. Very sweet. Um, this one also kind of has like a artificially flavor taste, but you can definitely taste a little more of the coffee. So I'd, I'd say this is really close to Starbucks. You can tell how light it is compared to some of the other ones we've gotten on our journey. I don't know. I'm going to head to the coffee bean. I'm gonna head to the coffee bean. We're gonna we're gonna see if we can get in there, get that coffee, and get out real quick. I got whole literally ten minutes to get that, so I'm gonna drive there. I'm gonna drive there. We're gonna see what happens, and maybe it'll be a good thing. If not, then I'm gonna have to go tonight and find one. Okay, bye. So I just looked up the directions and I don't have time to get there because it's going to take 14 minutes to get there and then probably I don't know how long to get the coffee. So I forgot to rate this coffee. Sweetness, I would say it's pretty similar to the Joe and the Juice sweetness, so 10 out of 10. And then presentation, a 1 because it took half an hour to get and I was like the only person in line. And then also overall taste. Let's go with like, we'll be generous, we'll give it a six. Six, because it doesn't taste high quality. It should taste a little cheap. I'm gonna drive so I don't die. <laughs> okay, bye. Currently 7, 17, and my GPS took me the wrong place that I just wanna go to bed. Uh, it's freaking so late. I, uh, I'm frustrated. I am so. We've arrived at the coffee bean. I'm now de-stressed. We have, oh, there's a person, there's a person. Okay. I'm intimidated, guys, I'm scared. All right, I'm gonna get my coffee, um, bye. Okay, guys, it is time for the final taste test. The... Here we go. Why does this taste exactly like the Dunkin' one? I don't know if, how I feel about this. Taste, whatever the Dunkin' one was. I will give it a little up for hand though because I like the ice if you look in it. It's got like those little crushed ice cubes. That's pretty nifty, pretty different. Also, overall presentation, probably like an eight because simple but effective. I think to wrap up this whole little coffee latte adventure, in my personal opinion, I think it was also the most expensive was Alfred's, I think was the best latte because it tasted more refreshing rather than like this is so sugary. Like, I don't even know if it's more sugar, but it's just so sweet. I feel like it just, as much energy as it's gonna give me, it's just gonna make me feel gross. But if I wanted something sweet, I would definitely, Go with Joe and the Juice. Wow, now that I'm thinking about it, I don't even think I would do the Starbucks one. I would choose the Starbucks over, I don't know. I'd say Starbucks, Dunkin' and the Coffee Bean, they're all like pretty close. They're all really close. If you're gonna go for something like a little bougier, you gotta go to, like the smaller chains, they're gonna be better, in my opinion. It's always been like that. Usually if you're paying $7 for an iced latte, they're usually, is a reason and it usually tastes a lot better that is a lot though don't do that every day maybe once a week maybe maybe not anyways thank you guys for coming on the journey again alfred's was my personal favorite if you guys have a personal favorite coffee chain that i can find around la comment it down below that's it guys make sure to give this video a like it helps me out a lot and comment below like i just said and also subscribe and hit that little notification bell that way you get a notification whenever I upload a new video. I will see you guys. 
I'll see you guys soon. Thanks for following me along on this really tired and crazy journey. If you want to do it again, subscribe. Okay, thanks. I'm going to go. Bye. I, oh, my voice on camera is so different <clears throat> than it is in person. <laughs> ah, I'm such a bad example.